But if you don't like it, don't f***ing watch this. Ooh, that sounded so funny. <laughs> That's what Manny says in his videos. Mm. Oh. My channel so today I have a very special video this is a Manny MUA 733 inspired halo smokey eye using his new makeup geek palette this is it yay I love him and I'm so proud of you Manny I'm happy that we're friends like it's so crazy it seemed like yesterday we were crossing the street he hounded me down asked me for a selfie and asked to be my best friend like this is amazing I'm so proud of you I love Marlena Marlena if you're watching this the makeup geek team hey shout out to you guys you did amazing on the packaging Manny you did amazing on the colors like they're absolutely stunning get yours today use the link below use the link on his page just get it get your hands on it and just show Manny some love because I love him as much as you all do if you guys don't know him check him out subscribe anyways but yeah this is the look I even went for a denim white shirt I'm even wearing black pants and I'm even wearing some dirty converse to complete the Manny MUA look so this is his look he's always wearing denim or he's always wearing black so this is it I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let's get started all right, so first I'm gonna take my Benefit Pore Professional Primer to smooth out all the bumps and lumps on my skin. I love this primer so much. It makes me look filtered, I swear to God. Mm. Next, I'm gonna take my favorite foundation ever, the Dior Air Flash in the color 500, and spritz this all over my face for a full Manny MUA coverage. I feel like Manny MUA already. I love using a dual fiber brush with this foundation because it's synthetic and natural hairs don't cling onto product. This product is very thin and it's very expensive so I wouldn't want to waste the product. Also, I'm using this instead of a sponge because the sponge would just soak it up. You can use a sponge but I'm not going to waste my money, okay? This is so dirty, gosh. Alright you guys, so since I'm going for that Manny look, he loves this concealer by Makeup Forever, so I love this concealer. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer, and I'm using the color Y31 with my Morphe E26. You know he loves his Morphe brushes! <laughs> and I'm going to blend everything with my favorite G2 brush. This is my favorite brush ever. So next I'm going to bake under my eyes using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder with my Powder Puff. I know it looks dirty, but ya gotta do what ya gotta do, okay? Okay. <coughs> Alright, so I'm using Laura Mercier under my eyes, but I'm gonna take my air, so I'm gonna use it all over the rest of my face because you know, she has a big face and she ain't got enough money to be wasting Laura Mercier everywhere else. So this is where this comes in handy. Yeah, shake and bake. Alright you guys, now for the start of the show, I'm going to be taking the Manny MUA palette brought to you by Makeup Geek. I'm so excited, so proud of her, she's my best friend, and I'm gonna use these shadows today. And let's see what we can do with these shadows. <laughs> ah, it's packaging. Come through mirror. Alright, so first off, I'm gonna take on my Sigma E40 brush, I'm gonna take Sora and Frappe and mix those two and use those as my transition color for my crease. I think I'm gonna go for a halo eye today because you know Manny wears halo eye, so I'm gonna wear a halo eye. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna take Frappe and Sora and just use this on the inner third right here with this brush. Just wiggle and blend. Blending is your best friend no matter how fucked up it's gonna look. Yes. Do I look like Manny yet? So for those of you guys that don't know, I met Manny at Fame Expo in 2014. I was crossing the street and he was crossing the street and then he saw my damn turban and he was like, Patrick! And then that same week we hung out and he was like, I want to be your best friend. And I was like, no, <laughs> no ma'am. And he was like, no, yes, we're going to be friends. And then he just never left. And now he has a palette and I'm so proud of him. It's amazing. So cool, yes. Boys and beauty, yes. 
So next I'm going to take this double-ended Anastasia brush. I'm going to take the fluffy side and dip it into the shade, this red shade called Mars, and use this on the inner and outer third of my eye to create the halo eye. I just realized I have so many Halo Eye tutorials, but why not another one using the Many Anyway palette? I was like, I haven't done one in a while, but I do have like three back to back. I just love Halo Eyes, so do a Halo Eye using this palette. Now I'm just gonna join Mars a little bit right at the top, very lightly. I'm just gonna connect it at the top of the Halo. And just blend it. Next to blend out the Mars red shadow, I'm gonna take a little bit of Sora and Frappe with my E40 and just blend it out. Now that it's blended, I'm gonna take Aphrodite, the darkest shade in the palette, and I'm gonna intensify those inner and outer corners. All right, so next, I was debating on whether to use Insomnia or Luna on the center of the lid, but I'm leaning towards Luna. If you guys wanna see a tutorial on Insomnia, let me know, but I really wanna try this shade out. So I'm gonna take my flat brush and use Luna and pat this on the center of the lid. Yes, I love it, uh, so good. So pretty. Alright you guys, so I did my eyeliner off camera because this was hella hard. It's been a minute, so I'm going to take my lash curler and my roller lash and curl my lashes up to Jesus. Alright, so now I'm going to dust off all this air spun. We are in a rush because we have dinner tonight. Woo! I'm trying to look cute for the seafood we about to eat tonight. Okay, come through crab. Fish me crab. <laughs> This is my favorite powder foundation of all time. This is the Make It Forever Pro Finish Powder. I like more coverage, so I'm going to simply just take this Marc Jacobs foundation brush or powder brush and dust this all over my face for an even flawless coverage. Next, I'm gonna take the same Make It Forever Pro Finish Powder in a lighter color and highlight under the eye. And this is in the color 128. Yes, full coverage glam. Next, I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs Tan Trip Bronzer with my Morphe E42 brush. Love this color for my skin tone. And I'm just gonna bronze my cheeks. And this brush is amazing because it's angled, so it really gets everything. Don't mind my texture, we're gonna fix that in Facetune. Next, I'm just gonna snatch my nose using my Elf Fan brush. Snatch away, snatch away. I'm almost done, don't you worry. I'm gonna take Mars and, what is this color again? Aphrodite, and I'm going to take this on a small smudger brush under the lash line and smoke it out. Next, I'm gonna take the Mascara Extended Play. This product with this brush is like amazing. This is my favorite brush, the E49. It's flat and it's thin. And I like to take this with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. Exactly what it is. It really perfects the under eye. I know Kathleen Lights loves this and um, my friend referred this to me. He's a celebrity makeup artist and I simply can't get enough. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. It's expensive but it's amazing for under the eyes if you want to look Photoshop. All right, you guys know the drill. This is my favorite blush of the year so far. It's Captivating by Tarte, and it's just a beautiful, naturally flush peachy color, and I love it for any any color with you. You do red lips, pink lips, blue lips, purple lips, black lips, brown lips, vagina lips. It is the best color ever. My mom's gonna kill me for saying that. So right before we do the lips, I'm gonna take the new Anastasia Brow Definer. It's been tricky, because I'm not used to a product like this, but I'm getting the hang of it. It's flat on one side, and I'm just gonna brush the strokes and just do my brows. Yes. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna take this Marc Jacobs pencil. I believe it's in the color Primrose. I love this liner, and I'm just gonna line my lips. I'm not gonna overdraw. Oh, maybe just a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if this is out yet, but I love this. It is like my favorite color by far. It's the new Tarte Lip Sculptor. It's double-ended. It's a lipstick on this side, and then check it out. It's a gloss on this side. It's the perfect like buddy for your purse, and this is in the color VIP. This, like, I love this. The formula, the gloss, everything. 
up. It's just so easy. Like when I'm out at dinner or if I'm about to take a photo or if I'm at an event, this has a gloss and a lipstick and I, I love it. And the formula is amazing. And then I'm gonna take the gloss side and I'm just gonna add gloss to the center of my lips. I've been obsessed with gloss lately. I feel like the craze has been such matte lipsticks, but this is what it's about. Sexy DSL. Glossy lips. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Manny, you did a kick-ass job on these eyeshadows. It's just so amazing to have another boy, let alone a best friend, create something so beautiful for the makeup industry. It is amazing, and thank you to Makeup Peak for supporting the boys in the industry. I love this palette. Just for your information, FYI, Manny did create five custom colors on his own with Marlena and Makeup Peak, and there are four existing shades in the palette, making them a total of nine shades, all for $45, and each shadow for $5 each. At a glance, you may think, damn, $45 for a palette? Hell no. But when you think about it, $5 for eyeshadow for nine at $5 each? Hell yes. Check it out. I love this palette. I love Manny. I can't say how much I love him. I never tell him in person because he's always either punching me or hitting me. That's him texting me. Either way, I love this palette. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Maybe use Insomnia in this palette. And again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!